Let's get started. Hello, I saw your apartment ad. Is it still available? Yes, it's available. It's a two-bedroom apartment. How much is the rent? It's $500 per month. Utilities are not included. Is there a deposit? Yes, you need to pay a $200 deposit. All right, when can I see the apartment? How about tomorrow at 3 p.m.? Sounds good. See you then. Great. Now let's break down some of the vocabulary from that conversation. Apartment. A place to live that's part of a bigger building. Example. My friend lives in a big apartment downtown. Rent. The money you pay to use something that belongs to someone else. Example. I rent a room near my school. Utilities. Services like water, electricity, or gas. Example. We pay for utilities every month. Deposit. Money you give as a promise and get back later. Example. I gave a deposit when I rented my bike. Available. Something that is free to use or buy. Example. The book is available at the library. Now let's practice with the conversation. Repeat the sentence after you hear it. Hello, I saw your apartment ad. Is it still available? Hello, I saw your apartment ad. Is it still available? Yes, it's available. It's a two-bedroom apartment. Yes, it's available. It's a two-bedroom apartment. How much is the rent? How much is the rent? It's $500 per month. Utilities are not included. It's $500 per month. Utilities are not included. Is there a deposit? Is there a deposit? Yes, you need to pay a $200 deposit. Yes, you need to pay a $200 deposit. All right, when can I see the apartment? All right, when can I see the apartment? How about tomorrow at 3 p.m.? How about tomorrow at 3 p.m.? Sounds good. See you then. Sounds good. See you then. I hope you found the repeat listening helpful. Let's dive into some discussion questions about that conversation. Why does Lisa want to see the apartment? Lisa wants to see the apartment because she might be interested in renting it. What does John mean when he says, utilities are not included? John means that the cost of services like water, electricity or gas is not part of the monthly rent and needs to be paid separately. Okay, before we finish, let's share some fun and easy facts about renting. Did you know that New York City has over 200,000 more female renters than male renters? In the USA, a landlord usually checks your credit score before renting to you. A good credit score can help you get a better apartment. San Francisco is one of the most expensive cities to rent in the USA. Some people even rent tiny spaces called micro-apartments to save money. Now, let's answer some questions from our global listeners. 
Our first question is from Maria in Madrid, Spain. She asks, I listen to many English videos, but my English is not improving. What can I do? Listening is good, Maria, but try to speak and write too. Practice makes perfect. We have a question from Abdullah in Cairo, Egypt. He wonders, how often should I practice English? Every day is best, Abdullah. Even if it's just a few minutes, regular practice helps a lot. We are happy to receive your feedback and questions. Please feel free to drop your questions in the comments below and we'll address them in upcoming episodes. It's time for us to wrap up this episode, dear listeners. If you enjoyed and found value in this podcast, please don't hesitate to hit that like button. Oh, and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you'll be notified of our latest videos. Thank you for being with us today. We'll see you in the next podcast episode. Take care and keep learning.